In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up something so you can use a compass to investigate what the magnetic field looks like around at different positions around a wire with current through it. And so in one situation, we can get the current to flow straight down. Another one, we can get the current to flow straight up. To do that, we just have a wire hooked from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of a power supply that we can turn on and we can turn off. And in this setup, we've got current that's going to run up, flow across, and then come straight down through the wire. And we could also just flip-flop these and put the other lead here, kind of switch these leads right here, and then we would get current flowing straight up through here. And so we can get current flowing in two different directions, and we want to find out at different positions what does the magnetic field look like that's produced by the wire. So the first thing you want to do is get your data collection sheet on this flat surface. We also want to make sure that this data collection sheet where it says north is actually pointing north. So we know that in the absence of any other magnetic fields, a compass will point in the direction of the Earth's magnetic fields. I'm just going to put this kind of next to there. See, they're not pointing in the same direction. So I'm just going to rotate this sheet just a little bit so that my compass points in the direction that the arrow is pointing. And that's pretty close. So once you've got that, if you want to tape down the data collection sheet, we can do that. But let's just move this to one of the circles. Okay, right now there's no current flowing through the wire. So our compass, remember a compass always points in the direction of the net magnetic field. If there's only one magnetic field, in this case from the Earth, it points north. But I'm going to go ahead and turn on our current that's going to flow down. So I'm going to turn the current on now and leave that on. You can see that we have about 5 amps of current flowing through that wire straight down into the page right here. And you can see that our compass is deflected by about 35 degrees from north. And so what you would do is make a little mark as to where that compass is pointing. And if I take the compass away, I can make a little arrow from the center to show what direction the net magnetic field is pointed in. Okay, if I go ahead and shut our current off again, and now I'm going to place this, let's say, at a new position. Make sure that it's facing north because my current is not on. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and turn the current on now and leave it on. You see that it actually gets deflected the other way. So I'm going to put a little line approximately where that compass is pointing and take it away. Oops. And draw a little line like this. So once you do that for all of the individual positions around here, we know what direction the net magnetic field is pointing in. And since we know which way north is, we know the direction the Earth's magnetic field is pointed in. And now I'll talk about how do you take those two vectors, those two arrows, to kind of figure out which direction the magnetic field produced by the wire is approximately pointing in. So in order to figure out the direction of the magnetic field produced by the wire, we need to remember that the compass is going to point in the net magnetic field direction. And that's going to be in the direction of the superposition or addition of the magnetic field from the Earth and the magnetic field from the wire. So let's first look at a situation where, let's say we know the direction of the magnetic field of the Earth and the magnetic field direction of the wire. Well, what direction would the compass point in? we're going to use a method for adding vectors called the tip to tail method where if you know the direction of one vector or arrow let's say the magnetic field strength of the earth you'd put that down like this and then if we were going to add a second vector which is the magnetic field from the wire we're going to take that vector and on the tip of the first vector or arrow we're going to draw the second arrow the length and direction so we'd have the magnetic field from the earth plus the magnetic field from the wire and the resultant, or the sum of those two vectors or arrows, or in this case the net magnetic field, is going to be drawn from the tail of the first arrow to the tip of the second arrow. So it looks something like this. So if we had a magnetic field pointing straight up, plus a magnetic field pointing kind of up and to the left, the net magnetic field is going to be represented by this red arrow. So let's use this technique to try to figure out what the known, what the approximate direction is for the magnetic field strength produced by the wire. So on our data sheet, as long as we align it so that that arrow is pointing north in the beginning, 
then we're always going to know the direction that, of the Earth's magnetic field. Let's say it's pointed up in this case. And remember, the compass tells us the direction of the net magnetic field. So let's say the compass is pointing kind of up and to the right like this. That's the net magnetic field direction. Well, let's think about it. We've got the magnetic field from the Earth plus some other magnetic field gives us the resultant or the sum of those two arrows. So in this case, if the magnetic field pointed up and the compass, which is the net magnetic field, pointed up and to the right, that must mean the magnetic field produced by the wire is kind of pointing down and to the left. So the B field from the Earth plus the B field from the wire gives us that net magnetic field. But the compass tells us which direction the net magnetic field points in, but it doesn't tell us how big that is. So, for instance, let's say, you know, that we drew the net magnetic field a little bit longer in the direction the compass was pointing in. That would mean the magnetic field strength from the wire, if we take the magnetic field strength from the Earth, plus the magnetic field strength from the wire would kind of point in this direction. And so the compass direction is going to help us figure out the approximate direction of the magnetic field from the wire. It can't give us the exact direction. But in both of these cases, we can at least say that the, the direction of the magnetic field produced by the wire is down and to the right. So I want you guys to use this technique to figure out uh, the approximate direction of the magnetic field produced by the wire at different locations around that current carrying wire. So on the left, when we represent this, whether on a whiteboard or a digital presentation, we're going to have um, on the left the current coming out of the page, which we're going to use like a circle and a dot to represent this kind of like the top down perspective. And at each location where you place the compass, what is the approximate direction of the, of the magnetic field produced by the wire? On the right side of your whiteboard or your presentation, uh, we're going to have current going into the page. This is the other side of your data sheet. And to represent current going into the page from a top-down perspective, we're going to use like a circle and an X. And again, at different locations around that wire, what is the approximate direction of the magnetic field produced by the wire?